Hello folks, welcome back to the Rathco Gaming Channel. I'm your host, Robert Robbie Rath. Today we are back with um, Rising World. And today we are going to be focused on collecting leather so that we can make up another saddle because apparently my horse has uh, flown the coop. <laughs> and I am unable to find him. Him, her, a mare, a stallion, not sure what it was, but anyways, so that's what we're going to be doing today. I got my crossbow. And I know that we have some weather, because I did manage to make some weather. I just have to find animals in which to harvest weather from. Let's bring up my map here. All right, there should be a clearing from this little house on the prairie-ish foliage here. <laughs> okay, here we go. <coughs> I just have to watch my stamina. Because I don't want to be stuck walking. And as long as we're out, I'm going to go ahead and collect some more lumber. So we're definitely going to need more of that. For what? I'm not sure just yet, but I know that we will. Because the next thing I want to focus on once we get our horse either find a horse or get a new one, I want to focus on building a storage room which is going to require a lot of lumber because it's going to require a lot of uh, wooden chests. I would produce, I would make the metal ones but they just take up, you know, lumber, wood is a lot easier to obtain than metal. It seems to be getting dark. Still don't see any animals. <laughs> but if we're lucky, there might be some over this clearing here. Grab some more cherries, because why not? Ah, here we go. Sorry, guys. My sincerest apologies, nice little sheep. If I didn't need leather for a saddle, I would have let you live. It's a bit of a lag in this game, when it comes to firing anyway. After we collect a decent amount of uh, weather, or pelts to get weather from, we can head back to base. Nope, I missed him. I'm not exactly sure how much weather each one of these yields. Um, other animals like cow would probably get me more. But the only thing I've been able to find lately are sheep, and they're hard enough to frickin' find. You know, not to mention cows or pigs or whatever else I can find. Okay, so we're going to turn back and we're going to head back to base. And collect some lumber along the way. Because <coughs> why not, as long as we're here. I cannot wait to get the next upgraded set of weapons and tools. This set is good, takes down trees pretty quickly, but... There are better types, <laughs> or better, more upgraded versions. Grab some apples there. Oh, more sheep. Don't mind if I do. Wow, really? Does this not have that much range on it or something? It must not. Got that one. Got that one. See, I don't know what type of range these things have. I was going to say, I'm going to have to start dropping stuff. Alright. So, now we're going to head back with what we've got. We don't have to do that in the dark, though. 
fact, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, you know what? I do not have any more uh, torch posts. <laughs> Need to make some more of those when I return to base. Which is a little ways away, but not too, you know, not horribly far. And I know what's going to happen, folks. I'm going to get this saddle made. <laughs> We're going to find a freaking horse. Oh, I'm going to end up making a saddlebag and everything, and then I'm going to find our original horse. That's always the way it happens to me. Really? There's only one piece of iron there? Wow. Well, two, whatever. Uh, that's not what we were out here for anyways. And I gotta be getting low on arrows by now. Oh yeah, seven left. Oh shit. Oh, excuse my language. We're gonna have to switch some stuff up here. Because I really don't need all that meat. Alright. Let's continue on. So I have a full inventory anyhow. But um, we should have enough pelts now to make enough leather to produce uh, our saddle. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to pop some pelts up here along with our knife. Right click to place a pelt, pull your knife out, and just hold down the left clicker. And you continue doing this until you, the game, you know, won't let you. The knife will physically stop moving. Just like that. And you hit F to pick it up. Okay, we got two leather from that one. Let's pop another one up there. Hopefully we'll get a little more. I I think that it, I, I'm pretty sure that it varies by what type of animal you take down. These were sheep, as you guys know. So we're probably going to get two leather for all of them. And I believe we need 16 weather. <laughs> hmm. Excuse me, I was parched. Okay. Six weather, but we still got plenty more pelts. I'm just going to continue doing this with the pelts. <coughs> like I said, my main goal here is to get up uh, 16 weather. I have all the other tool. I have all the other parts needed, uh, materials needed for my saddle. It just frustrates the hell out of me because I know, like I said, guys, I'm gonna get the saddle and then I'm gonna find my original horse. I really wish there was a marking on the map, or that I wasn't so irresponsible with my horse. <laughs> all right, we got ten leather so far, 10, 12, 14. You know what? We we will. We should have just enough. That's funny. So this, this this process can be kind of time consuming for you know the video's sake, but uh, we did get quite a bit done in this video, a little little scavenging video. We got up enough pelts to make our uh, saddle for our horse. Um, in the next episode, which will be episode 18, if I'm not mistaken, we will be delving into um, making more additions to the mountainside base. I'm going to be adding on to our kitchen, making that a bigger room, and we're also I'm also going to be focused on producing a. Uh, or building a room specifically for supply storage. I'm, I'm, I haven't decided yet whether it's going to be above ground or underground. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe. Um, I know I've been posting quite a lot of missed survival videos. I'm trying to branch out now and post all kinds of different videos. So, you know, be sure to stay tuned and keep an eye out for more videos. Uh, this has been a Wrathco 2023 production. Thank you all so much for all your support, likes, subscribes, all that great stuff. And uh, until the next video, I will see you all on the flip side. Thanks again for watching. I'm out.